The sun is behind us today. <laughs> Off on a new adventure. So day two, more of a climb. I fell in with some people, but I had to fall out. And this is when I realized Camino family doesn't mean you stick together all the time. And they're stronger and faster. And so see you in the next town. We find ourselves in Zero Key. About 13 kilometers away from where I'm gonna stop for the night. Look at what I just climbed and look where I'm going here. Came all the way up here. He's backing up. There's that. And over there where that guy's spraying the hose is where the Camino continues. This place is like a maze. That's <laughs> really cool. Zero Key here in Northern Spain. Climbed and climbed to get up here, and now we're going back down. <laughs> A Spanish countryside. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Right there is the Camino. You can see a, a pilgrim who I just had a little food with. You can see her walking down. The Camino's a big deal, but it doesn't mean you're a big deal. If anything, the Camino makes you smaller. Look how small I am compared to look how small we all are. Wow. That's where we came from. This beautiful, beautiful countryside. That's where we're going. Look at this view over here. Miles to go before I sleep. You get sun in your back in this time of day, so. Zen garden back there. It's not in the map. It was put together, I think, by pilgrims and locals, just as a rest area. Survives by donations. Oh, lovely. Kind of a special experience. I did see a Zen master, a cat, but he got away before I could take a picture. Right over here, got a major highway. Sometimes the Camino, the highways sometimes follow the Camino. There's a question as to whether this is the original Camino or not, but we did walk a bit of Roman road, which suggests it was part of the original trade route. So who's to say, oh man, this is a hard bridge. When you've been climbing all day, it's a hard bridge to cross. But there's our arrow. I love bridges too much. There's the road I'm on. Look at this beautiful scenery, but there's the village I'm heading to and it's not even the end of the line, it's just a stopping point, but all I've done these last two days is climb and climb and climb. I'm about blown up. Second day I'm hitting a wall and I'm starting to realize I brought too much shit. Last time I didn't bring enough. 
I still remember Joe sitting across the from me in Puerto Marin. Did you bring this? Did you have this? You know, here, have some of this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna consolidate some stuff and mail it on to Santiago tomorrow. <sighs> Down here under the main highway, looking at all this graffiti. Uh, I'm exhausted, of course. I feel good, but it's exhausting. I feel like a horse's ass sometimes. What am I doing this? And I'll tell you the truth, folks. I don't know why I'm doing this. Just something told me I had to come back and do a longer Camino. It's all I've been thinking about. And I don't know why. All I've been thinking about is... Uh, deliberate discomfort. I just have to ask myself, why am I subjecting myself to this? If I wanted to take five weeks off, I could be sitting in front of a TV. This is hard. I said this three years ago. I said it's one of the hardest things I ever did. And I was walking the easy part then. And I don't need accolades and I don't need people to tell me I'm tough or I'm strong. I, I know I'm strong enough to do it. I just don't know why I'm doing it yet. See, so here I am. And here we go.